Hello everyone. I just wanted to do a little tear it apart and see how this is. And uh, I bought it in India. Um, I bought it a while back. Uh, it's been about approximately a year or so. Uh, I think I paid about 45 uh, US dollars or 2,800 Indian rupees. So here's the meter. Here's how it looks. Uh, it just has two inputs. Uh, there's no current rating on this, so I cannot measure current on this. It's a very basic uh, multimeter. Um, you have the standard, you know, AC voltage, DC voltage, millivolts, AC, and then continuity um, diode testing and resistance and uh, capacitance and frequency. And it, it actually holds uh, the reading on the screen. And uh, this is to switch between continuity and uh, diode testing um, for it. So. It's rated at 600 volts CAT3 and uh, comes with uh, these uh, fluke leads which uh, which I think are fluke uh, leads yeah so and I think somewhere on the on the cord it says somewhere on the cable it says uh, TL75 you can see it clearly yeah Okay. Yeah. So I thought I would just do a little review on how this uh, this works and everything. So um, I have already removed the four screws that are at the back of this unit. So I'll just disconnect everything here, so you can just tear it apart. Okay. Now what what we have here is a basic unit. It came in a very uh, you know small box which says um, it's made in China and the calibration certificate is from some Indian company uh, but then it says it's made in uh, China it says it's made in China on the box but there's no mention of uh, where it's made um, on the unit itself so let's take a look at it now if you look at this, um, so the back is pretty neat, um, has a regular warning signs and the certifications and stuff like that and made by Food Corporation and all that. Uh, but it doesn't mention anywhere where it was made except for the uh, except for on the box. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll remove, let's, let's um, open it up, let's see what we got here inside. So um, the battery uh, can be easily removed with by just rotating this thing here. So that's where the batteries go. There are two AAA cells here, and the calibration certificate is underneath that. Uh, what I did earlier um, is I already removed the screws as I mentioned so I'm just going to open this thing up and uh, let's see what we have inside I'm going to use precision um, screws to kind of take it off but then as you can see I, I was trying to open it up and I messed up with the calibration see um, you know, I just ran my nail through it, I mean, you know, my fingernail through it and it just split open. So, I don't care, but then, yeah, let's see. Let me just uh, try and open this thing up. I just have to push it from here. So, it just comes off, you know, the case comes off pretty quick uh, from all four sides. Now, uh, you can see there are four screws here. On the back, just just four of them holding the entire uh, you know unit together, and uh, the front uh, has nothing basically. There are just two um, you know soft um, touch um, switches there, and the rotary knob itself. But then uh, the good thing is that the rotary knob, let's keep them aside. The rotary knob here actually feels very nice. I I really like it. It. You, you can feel that this is actually in the slot when you select something so that that's that's a really good thing I like it 
and the the plastic quality also feels pretty good it, it seems pretty thick to me now once you open once you open it uh, what you see here is is this so the lcd display is um, you know mounted on of course mounted on the pcb so these are the two input jacks there it seems to be pretty good to me right so now um, i shall open up these three screws which is holding the entire pcb to this um, to the back cover so i will do that quickly right now and uh, this entire thing comes off and you just have to pull it up like that and there we go and uh, yeah so this is the back cover and it, it feels pretty good i mean you know i, I can i can feel it, it's very thick as you can see i think about uh, about one and a half mm thick and then there's another side line inside i think probably for for any explosion or of any blast inside the unit and that's that's where the battery goes from behind uh yeah so the back cover looks good uh nice and thick and you know doesn't twist or anything so that is what i like about it now um here's the main board uh so i'm going to zoom in a bit on, on the board itself yeah so you can see that uh this is the board and the first thing that i noticed right when i opened it do you see this it says kalash it says kalash that is an indian name so it's an interesting where um, this was actually made was it made in india or uh, but then the box says it it was made in china and then here it says made in india uh, i mean it doesn't say made in india but then it says Kailash. So definitely the board was made somewhere in in India. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that. And uh, yeah, and uh, so that's that's your in input protection. That's the COM uh, input and that's the live input. And I think we have this um, main um, resistor here. And there's a resistor network of about some seven resistors right here. Uh, and then the buzzer. and then uh, this is the rotary switch this there's a slight bit of grease on it i don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but then there, there's a slight bit of grease yeah i think probably you can see there yeah that that's grease field and then uh, looks like the input protection is decent at best you know uh, but there's no fuse no hrc fuse and there's nothing much here uh, to talk about and i don't think there would be anything underneath this um, underneath the lcd as well so i wouldn't bother opening that so yeah everything is surface mounted here i don't know if there's anything else that i should point out here but uh, i'm no multimeter it's a circuit design expert so i wouldn't know a lot to be honest so it's up to you guys to tell whether you think this is a decent enough meter what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this back into the case and uh, i'll fire it up and uh, do some basic measurements i just wanted to show a few things which i kind of didn't like about this um in fact just a couple of things which i didn't like about it so there's no current measurement measurement as such i mean so so that's one big disadvantage no milliamps microamps uh, readings to get from this and this is one of the main reasons why i've been trying to get my hands on a, a fluke 179 or the 87v or 5 um let's see how 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 close i can get to that and the reason why i need a good multimeter is because i make uh, i build fx pedals which are guitar effects pedals so i'm just going to share a few of them so these are some of the effects pedals that i've built so far this is uh this is a boost basically for for guitars and uh, here's another one 
this is also a guitar signal booster made by made proudly by Arya Pedals. <laughs> right. And uh, this is a tremolo which has a tremolo effect on it. All these were made. I mean, I, I just import all the parts necessary parts that are required to build these pedals and uh, build them uh, myself. And um, and that that's mainly why I need a good multimeter for for uh, I, I need to be able to um, measure the current consumption on these uh, pedals and also uh, the voltages and uh, resistance and capacitance and everything you know so, such things and it also helps because I also modify uh, you know pedals so I get to uh, do some variations in this in the original circuit so I would like to uh, you know I, I like to see how things um, vary when a certain value has changed um, a certain pedal is going to sound so I need accurate measurements and that's one of the main reasons why I need a, a good multimeter and I think it's worth it I mean if I can get a good one uh, of course these are going to last a long time and uh, maybe also sometime down the line I would, I would build uh, tube amplifiers vacuum tube based amplifiers so high voltages, um, you know, high energy uh, circuits those uh, units are. So I would need something which has very good protection and wouldn't, won't blow up on me. So yeah, so let me just uh, put the multimeter back together and uh, I'll get back. Okay, so while I was putting it back together, I saw this solar joint. It doesn't look good to me. It's like a cold solder joint. Right, so I have put it back together now, and uh, yeah, so it's all neat. And uh, I don't know, I'll just try and show that it feels very nice. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it has uh, any quirks. Nothing at all. It feels solid, really solid. And you know, the switch is amazing. Just stupid. I also like the display. I wish it had uh, you know. A backlight but then it doesn't have one so it sounds good right so now the the worst thing about this multimeter is there's no stand at the back so you have I have to like you know literally use it something somewhere and you know, it just keeps sliding and like I, but though I can with a little force downwards I can actually change the um, you know range pretty much without any problems it doesn't slide off and, and this is just paper here so it's not a mat or anything and, and it works fine it works fine that way um, now for some me measurements you know I just have to I have a vacuum somewhere here that I can try uh, measuring see you see this this is the problem with this so 8.61 volts so yeah sounds about right that's what I think uh, it is since I checked it with another multimeter the other day. Um, so yeah, and uh, you know, after everything, I just want to come straight to the continuity tester to see it. It doesn't latch well. You know, that's that's as best. That's the sound from the multimeter. Now, if I try to do it quickly. it's a big fail <laughs> so yes so this is something which you cannot trust with um, if you have to quickly go through pins on an IC or something like that um, it's not going to be very easy very quick so you'll have to like you know wait and do it very slowly about one in a five is when it uh, buzzes It's literally missing 10 times and only once is when uh, that's it. So yeah, that's about it. Very basic um, meter and uh, it's been useful so far. I think the measurements are okay. So that's about it. That's my Fluke 101. Thank you.